What's going on guys, Zedia Fliptronics. I'm gonna be going over how to use color widgets in WidgetSmith on the iPhone 12, the 12 mini, the 12 Pro, and the 12 Pro Max. Now, if you're not using any widget apps, you're definitely missing out. These are probably two of the best ones out there right now, so I'm gonna go over them. Also, if you guys could smash like button on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start things off here with WidgetSmith. I mean, this app alone has almost 300K five-star reviews on it which is ridiculous but what's cool about using widget smith is that you can really create your own custom widgets which i'm going to show you how to do here now you have three different size options you can do a small medium and large now i've already done a few um, that i have on the back end here but i'm going to show you how to kind of do this from scratch i've kind of got like a really cool crypto widget right there um, but yeah so anyways we're gonna we'll go with the medium one to start here so for example let's say we want to create a, a medium widget we would uh, you know, just click on it. This is what a custom one looks like. And then when you click on it again, you're gonna have some different options in here. So this is where you can start to kind of like build how you want it to look, or you can add photos um, to really just kind of like create your own widget like I've already done here, but I'm just gonna do it from scratch here. So we'll, we'll go with the photo. I do like the photo option on here. I usually just use this one, but you can see there are some other ways you can do this as well. Let me see what I got in here. Let's find a cool little picture to use. All right, I guess we'll go with this right here. Okay, so I just click save. Now what I'm gonna do is add a medium sized widget on Widget Smith. Just bear with me here. All right, and now I need to click on it because I've created a couple different medium sized ones. So we gotta choose the other one here that we just created. And boom, there it is, guys. All right, so uh, you're basically seeing a, a small size widget. We got the medium, and I'm going to do a jumbo slice widget smith large uh, to go with, um, you know, extra cheese, right? All right, so there it is, guys. There is a large one. So, I mean, widget smith, you can have a lot of fun with this. You know, I've created tons of different widgets on different iPhones that I have, and uh, it's pretty addictive, honestly. Then, of course, color widgets is also, you know, very useful. It's kind of like a calendar uh, with time um, widget, but it's very customizable. You know, this one's got over 100K five-star reviews on it on the App Store, and uh, there's a bunch of cool themes that you can use for this, and it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. So I've got like a minimalistic one. I'm going to click on it and switch it up but they've got some cool ones in here they've actually added some paid options to color widgets stay away from the paid stuff i mean just use the free stuff on here for i mean for real really no reason to do that um let's see if we can find a cool looking one that one looks pretty sweet all right i'm gonna set it so when you find one that you like you just click set then it's gonna change how it looks and uh yeah that's it right there guys um but yeah i mean uh, widgets are very cool. If you're not using them on your iPhone right now, you're, you're missing out. Um, widget Smith and Color Widgets. Uh, if you want to learn more about them, I'll throw some uh, resource links in both the description and comments. Please smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.